Hey guys, this is Test 48 Game 2. This is the Farmer Harvesting Fields game. It's an ordering game. We know this because each field's harvested once, and no two are harvested simultaneously, telling us that there must be an order in which they are harvested. Now, if you look at the rules here, you see that they all are but simply before and after, very loosely relating the variables to each other, and we have the same variables featured in multiple rules. We've got M in the last two rules, We've got K in the first and third rule, L in the second and third rule. So these rules all link together to some extent, and I want to have a diagram that reflects those loose relationships. So I'm going to use the branching or dash system, whatever you want to call it. We've got P and G each before K, so I'm going to put down P and G each coming to the left of K, meaning they are earlier than it. Next, we've got a rule mentioning L, H, L, and J all of which are new variables, so I would skip this rule and come back to it later when we can more easily link it to what we already have, creating a big web of relationships ideally. Next we see K is before M, but after L. So K is to the left of, of M and is, early, is later than L, so L is before it. Now the next rule mentions T before M, I'll, I'll link that in as well, T is to the left of M. And finally, the rule that we skipped, H and L are both before J. So a L is already here. I will put down that L is before J, and H is also before J. And this right here will become our initial setup for the game. Number seven is a general could-be-true question. They're not starting us off with an orientation question here. We're just going to want to run through the choices, asking ourselves what could be true or what cannot be true. So if, some, if you can find the four that cannot be true, eliminate them and whatever remains will be your answer, or if you see something that works, you're good, of course. So could J ever be first? No, of course, because we got at least two things coming before it, and if anything has to come before it, then a variable cannot be first. K being second doesn't work because we've got P, G, and L all coming before K, so the earliest K could ever hope to be would, would be fourth. Next, looking at C, M being sixth. Now, we've got, remember, eight variables total. So in order for M to be sixth, we would need it to be possible for there to be at least two variables coming after M, and that is possible. We've got J and H both potentially coming later than M. If you look at what has to come before M, it's T, K, P, G, L. So the earliest that M could, ever, M could ever appear would be 6, but H and J are not related to M, so for that reason, those guys could come later than M, H being on 7, J being on 8. So because this could be true, C's our answer to number 7. I will look at the rest, though. G being 7th is not possible because we need to have both K and M coming later than it. So for that reason, the earliest G could ever hope to be would be, the latest, the latest G could ever hope to be would, would be 6, not 7. So D's gone, and then looking at E, T being 8th is not possible because, there are, again, there are 8 variables and M has to come after it. So the latest T could ever hope to be would be 7, not 8. E is gone, leaving C as our answer to number 7. Next, number 8, if M was 7th. So if M 7th, we need to have a, you know exactly one thing coming after it. That thing cannot be any of T, K, P, G, or L. The only things that could ever come after M would be H and J and H goes before J. So for that reason, we couldn't have M 7th, H 8th, and J 9th because there is no 9th. There are only 8 variables. So we would need to have J coming after M because we only have room for one thing to come after M, and H would require J even later than it. So for that reason, J would need to come on 8. So for that reason, J could not be 5th in such a circumstance, and B is our answer to number 8. Next, number 9 general cannot be true question regarding what cannot be fifth. So something that cannot be fifth is something that needs to have, you know, either more things before it or more things after it. And so again, M is a variable that's incredibly limited because it's got to have all of T, K, P, G, L coming before it. So for that reason, the only spaces that M could ever be on would be 6, 7, and 8, generally depending, upon, of course, upon where the other guys, H and J, are going, since they're the only ones that could ever come after M. So, because they're the only ones that could ever come after M, one, two, three, four, five things have to come before it, so the earliest M could ever be is six, 
it could never never be 5. So for that reason, C is our answer to number 9. I will look at the rest, though. G has to have only K and M coming after it and nothing coming before it. So G is incredibly flexible. G could be anywhere from 1 through 6. So for that reason, yes, it could certainly be 5th, and A is gone. Next, looking at B, J. J is very flexible and open-ended. J only needs to have L and H coming before it. Other than that, very open-ended. So J cannot be either 1 or 2, but could be anywhere 3 through 8 in general. So for that reason, it could be 5th and B is gone. Looking at D, the variable P, P is just like G. It only needs to have K and M after it and nothing before it. So for that reason, P could be anywhere 1 through 6. So D is gone. Of course, it could be 5th. Next, looking at E, T is incredibly flexible. T could be anywhere 1 through 7. Its only relationship is that it has to have M after it, so it cannot be on 8. So, of course, it could be 5th, and E is gone as well. Next, number 10, if J were 3rd. So, if J were 3rd, we're going to have L and H interchangeable on 1 and 2. J will be 3. And then all of these guys, you know, P, G, K, M, T, will all come later than this. So, of course, we know automatically that M is going to have to come on 8. And then these guys will kind of duke it out for what comes earlier between, you know, 4 and 7. T could be anywhere within that range. P, G, and K have a little bit more restriction there. So what must be true, of course, L first isn't the case because L could be first or second and A is gone. H second, of course, no H could be first as well, so B is gone. C, T fourth. T could be anywhere 4 through 7. We just know, remember that M has to be 8, so C is gone. K being seventh, K is, you know, K is somewhat restricted. But, you know, it can't be 4, it can't be 5, because K has, because P and G have to come before it. But K could be 7, K could be 6, so D is gone, leaving E by elimination. And, of course, we do know that M has to be on 8, so for that reason, E is our answer to number 10. Next, number 11, if H were on 6. So if H is on 6, of course, J has to be either 7 or 8 coming after it. And who else could come later than H? Remember, we need two things coming later than it in order for it to be 6. Well, M, right? M can very easily come towards the end, but it has certain things that have to go before it. You know, T, K, P, G, L couldn't be that solo thing coming... Oh, they, they, most, they couldn't be that solo thing coming after H along with J because L also has to go before K and M, so L couldn't be it going on 7 or 8, and K has things before it, T has things before it. So M is the only other thing that could come after H so for that reason, we're going to have H on 6, J and M interchangeable on 7 and 8, and then everybody else would have to come earlier than this. So what must be true? G before T. No, their relationship is still ambiguous, so A is gone. It's unaffected by this. H coming before K. No, K is coming earlier than H, so it's certainly not H before K, and B is gone. Next, looking at C, J before M. J and M are interchangeable. We don't really know how that's going to play out, so C is gone. Looking at D, K before J. J is on either 7 or 8. K can come before H on... K has to come before H on 6. So yes, K is before J. And D is our, our answer to number 11. I will look at E, though. T before K. Their relationship is ambiguous, so that's not a must. And E is gone. Next, number 12. If L was on 5. So if L was on 5, we got to have three things coming after it. And L already needs to have exactly three things after it, at least K, M, and J. So those guys are going to fight it out to be 6, 7, or 8, of course, with K before M. Meaning that all of T, P, G, and H have to come before L on 5. So what could be true? J before G. No, J is coming on 6, 7, or 8. And L and, uh, and J is coming, and G is coming much earlier than that on 1 through 4. So for that reason, this is not possible, and A is eliminated. Next, looking at B, J before T. No, of course, T is on 1 through 4, and J is on 6 through 8, so that's certainly not the case, and B is gone. Next, looking at C, K before T. No, K is one, T is 1 through 4, K is on 6, 7, or 8. Of course, really, 6 or 7 can't be 8 because M is after it. Either way, C is not possible, and that's gone. Looking at D, M before H, no, H is 1 through 4, M is on 7 or 8, so D is gone, leaving E by elimination. And if you look at E, M before J, of course that is possible, M could be on 7, J could be on 8, 
So yes, M could go before J, and is our answer to number 12.